So we all know that summer is a really tough time for men uh, when it comes to fashion, so today we're going to grade whose looks are the best, whose looks are the worst. Something has happened to Jeff Goldblum. He looks great. He looks, he looks better than ever. Like, you know I love a printed short sleeve shirt. Yeah, it's like my favorite he looks thing. kind of like, Jimmy, he dresses Jimmy, like Jimmy, you. He queer eye. Oh, yes. I've got white skinny jeans, I wear those boots, that's it's basically my mom. shirt. Wow, my mind. And my hair, you, you ripped me off. Yes, and everything's perfect. The fit is perfect, mm -hmm. the shirt is perfect, mm -hmm. the links are perfect, mm -hmm. everything works. Do you know what's missing? You haven't watched enough of season two to know this, but he's missing a French top. But oh. other than that, he looks pretty great. Yeah, he looks great. I'm gonna give him an eight plus. Yeah, I agree. I'm gonna say that one's Childish Gambino, that one's Donald Glover. He's so stylish when he wants to make an effort. This is casual. I love that he's still rocking name brands. I don't love the bunny ears on the casual shoes. Tuck them in and you're good to go. And I think he goes for things that a lot of other men would feel like mm -hmm. too right. shy to go for. Mm -hmm. Like, right. I mean, both of these are not out there of looks, but yeah. a lot of men I think would feel that they are. Yeah. Right. And he looks amazing. And that um, more dressed up look I would wear Every oh. week. Every I day. want that shirt. It, I'm going to wear it too. No, yeah. the pants, look like at the fit of those pants. So perfect. He looks incredible. Yeah. The dressed up look, stepped up look, look is an A plus for me. Oh, hands down, yes. Yeah, 100%. And then the ca more casual look, a B. See, I'm going to go A because it's casual, Don, living his life in Silver Lake oh, or maybe New York. Casual, Dawn, need we oh, say okay. more? <laughs> um, I think like B plus. Yeah, okay. yeah. Take I'll the cap off and I would, it would be an A. This God, uh, here's the thing. I work on a show called Queer Eye, and we are very positive, and we like to encourage people to live their best lives. Uh, but Report John, card is not that show. But John Mayer, <laughs> but John Mayer, <laughs> no, stop living your best life. Uh, live a better life. Um, somebody else's life. Those uh, track pants uh, hit my eyes. The drop those, crotch yeah, sweats. Yeah, like mean? it's not 2012. Oh. Um, those shoes. I hurt my eyes also. I got LASIK recently, recently and now I'm regretting it. I wish I didn't have LASIK. <laughs> that, I think that's a white polka shell necklace. Why the f have we got a white polka shell necklace on with uh, active wear? Why don't you use some product in your hair? I can't even look at it. I mean, I have been seeing those puka shell necklaces on the kids around, which doesn't speak well for John Mayer in this instance mm -hmm. because yeah. he's like 40. Right. So. You're making a mistake. <laughs> Hard pass. <laughs> Stop. Hello. Stop. I'm gonna go fail. Yeah. yeah I think we fail. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, Michael. You don't like it? I mean, I like it, but I'm like, the glasses are kind of killing me. It's a little like police detective off duty mm. for me, or maybe <laughs> on duty, like, mm -hmm. like a PI. The like gray pant is not really my favorite thing, and the kind of like terracotta shirt. Mm -hmm. That's what's killing it for me is the terracotta shirt. I think otherwise it actually is pretty chic and modern, especially for Michael Sarah. Yeah. But the shirt is kind of like, what? I like it. Yeah. And let me tell you why. If this were on the streets of London, which I actually think it is by the double stripe, oh, or yeah. in Europe, that would be chic AF. Right. It's just because he's got that dodgy hair. Yeah. If I had this on, I think, I think I'd be like, okay, this feels right. But when it's on Michael Sarah, I was like, Michael Sarah, what are you doing? If we're truly judging it by the style and the uh, and the clothes, I would give it a B. Like, if you really break it down, yeah, okay. it's like all the pieces are there, right? For sure, yeah, and it's working to a degree. Oh god. Okay, so Richard just released a collection with a brand. I think that he's one to watch for years and years to come. I love when a man really makes an effort and steps up every day. Unfortunately, this was not that day. We all need a day off. It's not costumey, but it's like ridiculous. Yeah, right. it's like you tried so hard right, right. to make Fetch happen. That's the thing that gets me, is the try hardness mm -hmm. of this. Mm -hmm. Even though he is giving a Daniel Day-Lewis kind of thing, yeah. which I like a lot. Yeah. C minus. D. Ooh. Is D a thing? Uh, D is yeah, a thing. Is. yeah. I think we're in D yeah. range. Yeah, I'm gonna go C minus because do you think he's hot? I do think he's hot. 
Isn't that the worst? The chat? I'm so Is sorry, music? everyone at home. We don't so, encourage this on Queer Eye. Yeah. Um, we don't base our decisions on whether yeah. they're attractive or not. Right. She's a terrible there person. There is She's no going to help. editorial transparency right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is Jeff Goldblum, take two in a look that is beloved by uh, him and street style influencers. Okay, side by side, I think this 60 something year old looks way better than that I'm assuming 20 something year old. Right. Uh, I, uh, sometimes I think kids these days, God, I sound like a grandpa, I'm 35, so be it. <laughs> He's too try hard. Like uh, this ugly movement, you know, when yeah. they want to dress ugly. Right. Again, I know I've said it before, I'm gonna say it a thousand times over. Uh, you're gonna regret it in not even five years, two years. Uh, you're gonna ask yourself, why was I so supportive of a trend that was called the ugly trend? Um, so, he probably uh, regrets it now. Yeah, I'm sure he sees that picture yeah. and sees. Yeah. Uh, He's gonna Jeff, see this. And Jeff like, Goldblum no. schooled me. <laughs> The influencer, uh, he's trying too hard. Um, the pants are uh, heinous, the shoes are heinous. Whereas Jeff Goldblum, he just put it on with uh, some sensible jeans <laughs> and, <laughs> and, a, and a nice shirt. And let the shirt, the statement shirt, have its moment. Like, it's a statement shirt. You don't need to go ham everywhere else. He looks so slick. Do you feel influenced by the influencer? I do not. I feel much more influenced by Jeff Goldblum. In many so, ways, I yeah, think across, really. yeah. just yeah. kind of in life now, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, lately. So yeah, Jeff Goldblum wins. What are you scoring him? Jeff Goldblum gets an A. And the other person? For sure. Um, I'm gonna go C minus. I agree actually completely. An A for Jeff, C for the other guy, because the, the shirt's awesome. That's carrying the C. Right, it's literally, the shirt gets the C. Yeah. yeah. Now, I wanted us to talk about this because I wanted to talk about him. I don't care about the clothes. David Gandhi, you can have nothing on, preferably, or even <laughs> a potato sack. You're gonna look gorgeous. This is a good look, too. It's a really good look. I mean, this is a bit like- costumey. It is like, but it's like a Mad Men fantasy. Yeah. On somebody like this. Not otherwise. Yeah, Not I like an I investment roll my eyes if I saw another guy wearing right? Exactly. Like, you're like trying way too much. Yeah. yeah, and then you're saying, hey, Brosif, maybe chill out. Right. Like, this isn't a TV set. Yeah, and yes. you're not David Gandhi. Yeah, right. you're not David Gandhi. The most you're not John point. Point. So, what are we scoring him? A plus. Yeah, I. <laughs> Forget that he's got clothes I mean, on. A plus. After yeah. all that, yeah. The A plus, too, across the board. I kind of love this. I love it too, however, you've got to have a lot of confidence to be able to pull it off. I couldn't, I, I love a lot of leg, but that's a lot of leg. Um, so I, I love it almost. Yeah, shorts are hard. I'll yeah. say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I, I do love a short, but how much hair do we really want to see on a man? Right. Do we really want to imagine what's going on up there? I don't. Right. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. There's a, a lot. lot. But I do love the earring. Shout out to the earring. The gelled curls were a thing. I don't think it's a look for all of you guys. Please don't do it. I usually want to let, your, let you do whatever you think is right, but that one, I promise you can look back in five years and be like, what the heck was I thinking? Right, so this is, a, this is like a don't try this at home kind of situation. Yeah. Like this might have happened in Milan, but we yeah. should not He looks superstar, he can get away with it. Regular folk can't. You're not gonna be happy if you go to the grocery store looking like that. that Chill, is, out. Yeah. <laughs> Chill out. Chill yeah. out. B minus. Okay, I'm gonna go C plus because the shorts are just killing me. I'm gonna go like B, I think. All right. You like to see um, <laughs> a lot of like, leg. A lot, a lot of leg. Is what we're gonna call store. it. A it lot really of leg. Fresh for me. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, do yourself a favor. Go subscribe to WWD's YouTube channel.